hi guys so in last video what we saw if we are using this uh, uh, assertions like this using and again and again and using different different assertions in between and suppose in between in middle of these execution suppose one assertion got failed so what we observed like others assertion we are not at all getting executed and the problem here was suppose in our uh, expectations uh, suppose three places it was failing okay suppose this is one place this is the second place and this is the third place so whenever we were executing after failing this one it was getting stopped and it was not at all uh, going further uh, for doing assertions okay and after correcting it again we were running so at that time here it got failed so again after correcting it we executed then again here good call rate. so so what was problem here user needs to run it again and again to know what is the exact problem where is the exact problem so okay so here it is like four or five that you can do but uh, imagine if these assertions will cross 40 50 then at that time it will be very difficult to to go to one by one and check okay so to overcome this kind of problem what companies are using they are using assert that assertions okay and uh, i'll show you how they are going to use so just to test that i have made one uh, test test ng test at the uh, test assert assert that okay now sorry assert that now so now so in this what and all we were verifying right we are verifying cart id pin building number other number house number and and name okay so in this what we will do will create those values okay so let me create first a string card card id and then this is integer this was integer integer then this is a string okay then house number just i am defining some string okay house number and name okay and to assert integer value what we'll do int int pin comma building number building number comma then what was that other number right just other number it this name you can define anything okay just to make it more readable i am giving the similar names okay now now this is our base uri so we have something called response okay response and we'll create one one uh, reference of response so this is the response this is the reference and it will in store what and all information uh, we are uh, getting after hitting any api okay so this is what api we were hitting right so we can do like this just we need to import the necessary jar files from uh yeah register dot response this is what we are using okay so now now so this response okay as we were hitting by hitting this one what response were coming so this is what it is coming so now in this line what it is doing it is hitting that uh, api dot get uh, users slash one and it is holding all the information all this information in this okay now now to use that assert uh, uh, assert that what we will do we will fetch these values okay in one sort itself we'll store in uh, these variables whatever the required values were there and at the end we'll use assert that to to do our assertions okay so now here let's go and so suppose what was the first one first one is card id right card id so write card id equal to there is something called json okay json path json path dot from okay json dot dot from so in this from what you have to do you have to pass this object response dot get body okay dot as string okay perfect so now you got this okay now dot get okay in this get not get a string sorry only get okay in this get you need to provide the this path okay like this one to get card 
card ID. This is what we were hitting, right? So what it will do? Uh, it should be as a string. Yeah. So what it will do? It will fetch the card ID and it will store in this this variable, this card ID variable. Okay. Uh, so this is what it is. I think this is perfect. Okay. Now, so like this, we fetch the card ID, right? Now, like this, we have to fetch other details also. Okay. So house number. So let me copy this one. Hmm. So what is that next value we want to fetch? Next value was pin, pin number, right? Okay, so what is the dot notation for that pin is this one. So here just write pin. This is what the variable name we have defined, right? And you have to just paste it over here. Yeah, that's it. So you can see like same response it is using. So whatever response we got from this ref, uh, this after hitting this API. So this response, we are getting that as a string. And from that there, using this dot notation, we are fetching the specific values right so uh, let me pause this video here and i'll add all these okay uh, just hold on for a sec uh, yes okay. so now what i have done done i i have mentioned like this cart id pin building number based on these dot notations okay i fetched all the respective values we and all we we need for our assertions okay so now we are going to to use our session. session okay so to do that what we have to do we have to write like this first assert that assert that okay so assert that and after that uh, you need to uh, give this bracket and then then hold on for a second Okay, so that okay, so that right here, new object. Okay, new object, and this is like square bracket, and this is curly braces. Okay, just you remember this syntax. Okay, and after that, just comma is okay, and is also it is like new object new object and new object and then this curly braces okay and then right like this okay and and then uh, what do we have to do we have to import this assert that okay so let me do that Take one more bracket is required and for let me try if any suggestions are coming suggestions are not coming to import okay let me write it directly over here okay import rg dot and crest dot dot a uh, matcher dot matcher assert okay t c h e r matcher Set dot assert that. Set that. Yeah, this is what. Okay, why it is telling? Match your assert correct only, right? Okay, let me copy it from some other place. Yeah, this is what it is. Major reserve dot so that let me paste it over you okay yeah perfect now you can see that error is gone so now the main important thing over here is this this uh this syntax you should remember okay like new object new object and this curly braces so this is what we will be adding these these names okay and then what value we want to assert we will be providing here so we can see like this okay so first we wanted to verify card card id and then pin then just these names i'm writing over here okay 
so then uh, the number see all after commas we are writing like this okay and then here house number and then name right name now now in first half okay this in this new object in first half we will write what values we are fetching it through the response okay after hitting this this api we got something in response and we have faced all those values in this in individual variables okay so those we wrote in the sequence now your expectations okay which value you want to assert that should be in this sequence itself in the same sequence so the first one was cart id right okay let me fetch it from here first one our expectation was this card id okay so go here and put this card id like this okay this is in a string that's what i have made it in a string okay now the second thing was pin number this is what we were expecting so the second one was pin right so cart id pin then building number then other number right then building number and other number so here building number is 3 and other number is this one okay building number is 3 and then other number is this one okay and after that what we are uh, trying to is house number and name right so go here what what is the house number house number is h55 okay so this is also there in a string format and the name right the house number comma and name okay yeah there we go okay so now so now now what we did we have defined in this sequence like this 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 we want to assert with what values with this value this value this value this value right like that and let me run this and we'll see let me comment this one okay let me run this and see whether it is passing or not if all values will be like as expected then this will pass or else it will fail okay see it is passing it means whatever value we have pro we were we have provided here here for assertion it is similar to to the values what it is fetching after hitting this after hitting this api okay like cart id was this one so so in last time what we saw so in last example when we were using this hand and hand right so in this we saw if something got failed over here then it was not executing these things okay so so we were like uh, suppose if it was failure then we corrected here then we went to other failures and then we corrected here then we got to know like multiple times we have executed this but here in this case this is not the scenario for example suppose i will make some mistake over here so that it should fail at some places okay two places and three places okay so three failures we made so earlier what we saw so see here here failure so after executing here earlier in our previous case it was not going to other other values it were not it was not fetching all these values it was failing then and there itself okay but here let's see what will happen okay so we are expecting three failures over there right because three places we change the value the actual value with the expected values okay so three places it will fail see here so it is telling telling there is a failure and the expectation what was your expectation your expectation was this okay but what values you got you got these values okay for example example when we hit this cart api we got employee name as a uh, cart id as this one okay then the second one was like pin number okay so pin number in response it is coming this but your actual value is this this is what you are expecting okay this is what you are expecting but this is not the value which is coming from the response that the value coming from the response is this one okay then this is correct this is what you were expecting they were expecting and this is like like house number right uh, other number or oh, this is other number okay uh, so this other number you were expecting it should be three to three but actually in response it is coming this one okay and 
this is the house number house number is same and this name name you were expecting this at end you were expecting three but here it is not three here it is one so see how see this is the beauty of this type of assertions okay in one shot itself you have all your expectations and all the actual value what it is coming from the api so now now if anyone will write uh, their test cases like this so what will happen that guy will go here it quickly that guy can verify right so this is fine this is so here he need to concentrate and then here he need to concentrate and here he need to concentrate just three places he can go and it can modify the test case and it will work accordingly for example example let me correct it okay so we know like this is the this is one was failing okay and here it should be one and the other one was uh this is the one right yeah so see how how easy it is i am not running it multiple times just one time itself i executed and i saw what and all failures were there and based on our requirement we updated the the sr things or see this is what now it is passing and if like this is what exactly we were expecting and the value is coming from uh, through api it is coming different at that time we can log defect like this is what our expectation was and this is what the value it is coming so at that time we can log defect and assign it to developer okay so this is like how in any organizations uh, in every organizations people are using this type of assertion so this is very very important to learn and to use this okay yeah that's it for this video uh, guys thanks a lot see you in next video Bye.